In this video, we're going to focus on functions, evaluating functions. So let's start with this example. If f of x is x squared plus 5x minus 7, then what is the value of f of 3? So we can see that x is equal to 3. x is basically the number inside of the function. And we're looking for the value of the function. So what is the value of f when x is 3? So all we got to do is replace x with 3. So instead of writing x squared, we're going to write 3 squared. Instead of writing 5 times x, we're going to write 5 times 3. And we just got to do the math. 3 squared, that's 3 times 3, which is 9. 5 times 3 is 15. And 15 minus 7 is 8. And 9 plus 8 is 17. So when x is 3, f has a value of 17. So d is the right answer for this example. Here's another one. If f of x comma y is 2x squared minus 3xy plus 4y squared, what is the value of f2 comma 3? So we need to realize that x is 2 and y is 3 because they match. So when x is 2 and when y is 3, what is the value of the function? So all we got to do is simply plug in the values. So let's go ahead and evaluate f2 comma 3. So everywhere we see an x, let's replace it with 2. And wherever we see a y, replace it with 3. So using this equation, this is what we now have. 2 squared, that's 2 times 2, that's 4. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 squared is 9. 2 times 4 is 8, 6 times 3 is 18, 4 times 9 is 36. 8 minus 18, that's negative 10, and negative 10 plus 36 is 26. So therefore, E is the right answer. Here's another problem. If f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 9, what is the value of x when f of x is 5? So we have the function f. f is 5. And our goal is to find the value of x. How can we do so? So what we need to do is replace f of x with 5. So 5 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 9. So at this point, we just have to do some algebra in order to find the value of x. So how can we go ahead and uh, how can we solve this? The first thing we should do is subtract both sides by 5. We want the left side to be equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation, and we could find the answer by factoring the trinomial that we have on the right. So what two numbers multiply to 4 but add to the middle coefficient negative 4? The two numbers are going to be negative 2 and negative 2. So to factor it, it's x minus 2 times x minus 2, which you can write as x minus 2 squared. So to solve this equation, you need to set each factor equal to 0. But because they're the same, we just got to do it once. So therefore, we can see that x is equal to 2. Now let's go ahead and check the work that we have. So if we plug in 2, will it give us 5? So it's going to be 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 9. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 9 is 5. So clearly we can see that x is indeed equal to 2, which means b is the right answer. Here's another example. If f of x comma y is 3x squared minus 4xy plus 5y squared, and f of 4 comma y is 100, what is the value of y? So let's make a list of what we have and what we need to find. So we can see that the first letter x matches with 4. So therefore, x is equal to 4. 
f, the entire function, is 100. So f is 100, and our goal is to find the value of y. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace f with 100, replace x with 4, and find the value of y. So let's go ahead and begin. So 100 is equal to 3x squared, but x is 4, so that's 3 times 4 squared, minus 4xy, or 4 times 4 times y, plus 5y squared. So now let's do some algebra. 4 squared is 16. 4 times 4 is equal to that. 3 times 16, that's 48. And what we have is another quadratic function. So let's subtract both sides by 100. 48 minus 100 is negative 52. So this is what we now have. Let's get rid of a few things. Now what I'm going to do is rewrite it. I'm going to put it in standard form. So this is 5y squared minus 16y minus 52. Let's see if we can factor this expression. So how can we factor a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1? In this case, it's 5. What we need to do is multiply the first number by the last number. So what is 5 times negative 52? 5 times 50 is 250, and 5 times 2 is 10. 250 plus 10, that's 260. So what two numbers multiply to 260 but add up to negative 16? 260 is basically 26 and 10. Now let's put the negative sign here because we had it here. And one of these numbers have to be negative. It's either the 26 or the 10. 26 plus negative 10 adds up to positive 16. But negative 26 plus 10, that's negative 16. So these are the two numbers that we need. So to factor this particular trinomial, we need to replace the middle term, negative 16y, with negative 26y and 10y. And I'm going to write the 10y first, because 5 goes into 10 and 26 goes into 52. Now once you replace the middle term with these two terms, your next step is to factor by grouping. So what we need to do is take out the GCF, or the greatest common factor, in the first two terms. And that's going to be 5y. 5y squared divided by 5y, and that's equal to y. 10y divided by 5y, is positive 2. Now, in the last two terms, we need to take out the GCF, which is negative 26. Negative 26y divided by negative 26 is simply y. Negative 52 divided by negative 26 is positive 2. So notice that we have a common factor, which is y plus 2. So if we factor out y plus 2 from this term, we're going to get 5y. And if we take out y plus 2 from that term, we're going to get negative 26. So now that we have it in factored form, we need to set both factors equal to 0. So let's set y plus 2 equal to 0 and 5y minus 26 equal to 0. If we subtract both sides by 2, we can see that y is equal to negative 2. In this example, or in this equation, we've got to add 26 to both sides, and then divide by 5. So the other answer is 26 over 5. So these are the two possible values for y. However, only one of the answers is listed, so answer choice B is the right answer. Now, if you ever get stuck in terms of factoring, let's say if you don't know what to do when you need to factor the expression, you can always fall back to the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and do that for this example. So a is 5, b is negative 16, c is negative 52. x is equal to 
Well, in this case, it's going to be y instead of x. So y is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So b in this example is negative 16. Negative 16 squared is positive 256. That's negative 16 times negative 16. a is 5, and c is negative 52. 2 times a, a is 5, so 2 times 5 is 10. So what we have here is positive 16 plus or minus square root. Now, 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times 52, that should be like 1040. So this is 256 plus 1040 over 10. 256 plus 1040 is 1296. And the square root of 1296 is 36. So this gives us two possible answers. 16 plus 36 divided by 10 and 16 minus 36 divided by 10. 16 plus 36 is 52. And 52 divided by 10, if you divide both numbers by 2, you're going to get 26 over 5. 16 minus 36 is negative 20. Negative 20 divided by 10 is negative 2. And that's the answer that we have. So whenever you get a trinomial, you can either factor it or you can use the quadratic formula to find the value of x or y.